Hello everyone, I hope you're all very well. We're in the FA18C, it's August 2020, and we've now had added to the air-to-ground radar Doppler beamed sharp mode. This makes the whole air-to-ground radar much more accurate and much more efficient to use. We can actually use it properly to find tanks, runways, bunkers, and stuff like that now. First thing we're gonna say is what our mission is. That's us there. We can see on the map here that there are some baddies, a bunch of Abrams moving around here. Now, all I know, according to this roleplay, is that they are in this grid square here. So we've got a like a 20 by 20 mile grid square. We've got to find them in here. We can't use our teapot and we can't use our eyes because of the inclement weather. The only way we can find these guys, and this is really amazing, is with the air to ground radar. Master arm on, air to ground on, j out, just set that warming up. And over to the air to ground radar which will automatically come up. It's a quick look at today's controls. To assign our TDC to our right screen, which we will need to do, SCS right. To move our cursor about on the right screen and or create a target point, we will press and hold TDC depress while pressing TDC up, down, left, and right. And when we come to fire our weapon, obviously, we're gonna press weapon release button. This is the standard air to ground radar. I'm sure you're all used to it already. What we've got is these modes, EXP1, 2 and 3. EXP1, Sector Scan. EXP2, Patch Scan. EXP3, SAR Scan. Least most zoomed, next most zoomed. And EXP3, the most zoomed with the most detail. And a bit like a teapot, the further zoomed in you are, the more detail you're showing, the less area you can look at. There are two ways of driving these EXPs. We'll show the first way first. So our basic ground map is thus, I want to do an EXP, so I'm going to click on it there. We get this trapezoid shape here to show what we will actually be mapping. To be able to manoeuvre this shape, we need to first assign our TDC with SCS right. We get the diamond, now press and hold TDC depress and use the manoeuvre keys and use the TDC slew keys to move our trapezoid about. First, I want to show a problem with it, so I'm going to aim directly ahead there on our 12 o'clock. I'm going to release TDC depress. Give it a few seconds to render because it would take a few seconds. Note that there is a thumping great black line through the render, this here, and that's because EXP 1, 2 and 3 do not work in the exact direction that the plane is travelling due to Doppler physics that I simply just don't understand. So, moral of the story, never use EXP 1, 2, 3 directly ahead. Offset your plane left or offset your right plane right so you can be viewing the EXP slightly left or right of the nose of the aircraft. Undo, back to main mapping. Now let's use it properly. We're going to search this grid square here. Now I'm not talking about these grids here. These are to do with the air to ground radar, not to do with the map. But the grid square from the F10 map, and I'm looking at the topography of the coast here to know that my grid square is about there. So what I'm going to do is click EXP1. I'm going to maneuver my sector like that. So it centers on the grid square in question. Release, let it render. I want to have a good look at that render. Now I'm interested in this sector here. After a while, you just get to know what looks natural and what looks artificial. And look how straight and lovely that line is there. That doesn't look natural. That doesn't look particularly natural either, but that's got more of a shadow. So I'm going to try this guy here, EXP2. My next layer, move it into position over this guy here. Let's have a closer look. Okay, I'm more convinced ever that that is a town, that's the coast, that's the water, and that is possibly our bad guys there. Let's make absolutely sure by going to X EXP3, move it into place, and zoom in there with more detail. Note, you don't have to go sequentially like this. You can go straight to EXP3. It's just the way I like to do it. We can see there that that is clearly an artificial mark of some kind, and I'm almost certain it's going to be my tanks. So what we're going to do is create a target point from this now. Press and hold TDC depress and use the TDC slew keys to move the cursor onto the object or the center of the object as best we can. Let's say there, release. That's a target point cross created there. And we can prove that to ourselves because we've now got a target 18.9 nautical miles away. I shall quickly set my JSAW up. TOO, E-Fuse, release type, manual, mission, you can see the coordinates which have come through automatically from the creation of the target point. I can go and show you the other way that we can use the EXP, so I can go back to main scan there. The other way is we can create a target point, which I've already done, and then click the EXP. And it will EXP centralized based on that target point. So EXP2, 
and that's going to render based on that target point. There's one thing for it now, which is to go and release the weapon and see if I was actually right. So let me double check everything's right there. Master arms on. I'm going to unpause now. Burner on. Let's get in range. Within range, just give it a couple of miles just to make sure. Get rid of that. We're going to launch our weapon. Weapon's travelling now. And there's no guarantee I've got this right. It's all about, like I said, learning to what to what to spot, if you like, on the uh, on the radar. But we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, there we go. It's going to hit something. And check that out for accuracy. If that wasn't, I mean, that was what. 15 feet away from hitting one of those tanks. So if I'd use cluster munition, whatever. You can see how devastating this new tool is, even in inclement weather. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.